No Sussex. John Lydon collabs W.O. to kick Megan has out of Montecito after private jet drama. From Lady C's last few videos she reveals some tidbits about the Marcluses alleged freeloading in the Montecito neighborhood when Megan has the unsavory habit of borrowing her neighbor's private jets and then leaving the them will the bill. She has done this frequently enough that the owners are disgruntled enough to talk about it and they now have a reputation in the Montecito area for being plain pilferers. John Lydon verified the occurrence after speaking confidentially with Oprah Winfrey. John Lydon is one of Montecito's most trusted stars, but he got into a heated debate with Sussex when he frankly advised that the pair look in the mirror and quit being parasites. Meghan, on the other hand, openly mocked him as an out-of-date musician and sought to persuade Sussex to benefit herself while insulting his late wife. This is unquestionably the start of a protracted war between the male vocalist and Sussex. Therefore, former Sex Pistols star John Lydon recently has taken aim at his Californian neighbors Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as he said the couple need to shut up and go away. Harry and Meghan moved to Montecito, California, just a few months after stepping back from the royal family and now count John among their famous neighbors. In a furious rant, the punk legend claimed the pair are spiteful and suggested Harry and Meghan will be loved if they go away. If you want to be normal and outside of the royal family, just go away and shut up. I've had to make decisions like this in the past. I had to leave the pistols, I had to break up Public Image Limited a couple of times because the situation was unsustainable. And if that was their dilemma then please go away, alright? And we we'll love you for it, he said during an interview with The Telegraph. However, John believes the Sussexes are unlikely to go anywhere anytime soon. The musician also took aim at Harry's explosive kiss and tell memoir spare, which he said was very spiteful to family and friends. In the book, Harry made a number of allegations against his family and spoke about his new life in California. He discusses his very public childhood, the death of his mother Princess Diana and his teenage struggles with drugs and sex. The most shocking parts of the book sees Harry reveal details of an alleged physical confrontation with brother Prince William and explain how he lost his virginity to an older woman in a field. John Lydon's scathing attack of Harry and Meghan comes after it was confirmed the Duke of Sussex will be attending the King's coronation next month. The Duchess will stay at home in California with their children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. The palace said in a statement, Buckingham Palace is pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on 6 May. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Earlier, John has issued a public comment on the death of Queen Elizabeth II, and it's actually quite respectful. Rotten, of course, will always be linked to the Queen thanks to the band's 70s classic God Save the Queen. The track became popular during the Queen's Silver Jubilee celebration, viewed by many as a protest against the monarchy's treatment of the working class. The band performed the track on a boat trip that coincided with the Queen's Silver Jubilee celebration. Hopping aboard a boat named the Queen Elizabeth, they traveled down the River Thames and several members of their party and entourage were arrested after they docked. John Lydon kept his comments succinct, offering, Rest in peace Queen Elizabeth II. Send her victorious. When the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebration was about to begin, John Lydon offered further insight on his views toward Queen Elizabeth II during a chat on UK's talk TV program Piers Morgan Uncensored. When Morgan started up a discussion on Lydon's views of the royal family, bringing up the Sex Pistols' God Save the Queen, the singer stated, It's anti royalist, but it's not anti human. I've got to tell the world this. Everyone presumes that I'm against the royal family as human beings, I'm not. I'm actually really, really proud of the Queen for surviving and doing so well, said Lydon, while also raising his hand to his brow with a salute. I applaud her for that and that's a fantastic achievement. I'm not a curmudgeon about that.
Sussex. John Lydon collabs W.O. to kick Megan has out of Montecito after private jet drama. From Lady C's last few videos she reveals some tidbits about the Marcluses alleged freeloading in the Montecito neighborhood when Megan has the unsavory habit of borrowing her neighbor's private jets and then leaving the them will the bill. She has done this frequently enough that the owners are disgruntled enough to talk about it and they now have a reputation in the Montecito area for being plain p. 